ladies and gentlemen, to the West Coast Wrestling Connection. Jeff Aiken, Jeremy Blanchard here, and Big Duke hey, Dalton. Right out of the gate, look yeah. at him. Fired okay. away. Well, Jeremy, right off the bat, he was supposed to be Alexander Hammerstone, was supposed to be depending, defending against instant karma. Okay. Another one of those, you know, number you, one quote-unquote contender right. yeah, situations. One of those, yeah, one of those flim-flam jobs the grapplers got out there help patent his guy's stats here. Yeah, I know. I'm all full aware of that. This is one of the first times, ladies and gentlemen, I've gotten to call a wrecking crew match without Morty sitting here in the booth with us. Yeah. Jeremy, thank you. You're, thank you very much for being my yeah. buffer. It's going to be a great night. You're very welcome. It's, I'm, I'm totally excited to be here. It's different sitting here watching from this point of view, but you know what? It's, 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 uh, it's, it's, it's nice to sit here and, and, and get a chance to call the action for once. This is going to be an interesting matchup. Big Duke Dalton and uh, Alexander Hammerstone have quite the history. Uh, feuded over the Legacy Championship, as a matter of fact, in a two out of three falls match, it was Duke Dalton that gave Alexander Hammerstone his very first pinfall. Now, it wasn't a defeat, but he was pinned one, uh -huh. two, three. This is a one fall to a finish match, Jeremy. So these two guys, they've wrestled each other on a number of occasions, high profile matches. You're Duke Dalton. How do you come into this matchup? Well, you know, the thing about uh, being the challenger is the fact that you got to pin or submit the champion. He doesn't have to do the same thing. I mean, you know, things can happen where, you know, you get counted out, belt doesn't change hands, a little bit convenient for grapplers, man. I've been in the ring with both of these two gentlemen, I'll tell you right now. I, the one thing about Alexander Hammerstone, wow, how, how impressive is this kid? He's got, no the, he's, got, he's got the professional world at his feet, and yet he listens to an, a guy like the grappler. Well, Jeremy, you listened to the grappler I, for a lot of years, too, right. and you had a, had a very successful history as well. So, I mean, you can understand the grappler can be very uh, what, appealing. He can. He, yeah. can. he dangles a lot of... A lot of tasty things in front of you and he actually delivers that's the one thing i will give to to the grappler he does deliver um just hopefully uh alexander hammerstone one of these days can see the light like i did it takes a while sometimes but when you realize that it takes hard work in professional wrestling not just taking shortcuts you that's find that out and it's a lot more rewarding i can tell you that right now can definitely imagine Alexander Hammerstone, such speed and such strength Jeez. in there. Those knees and those kicks just kind of sending Duke Dalton into the corner. Duke had a real advantage coming into this and in that Alexander Hammerstone was expecting another easy, quote-unquote, yeah. easy defense against one of the hippies. Don't want to take anything away from them. This could be it. Pinfall. Duke can great bridge there by the champion, Alexander Hammerstone. That's one thing Duke does have going for him right now is the fact that I think Alexander Hammerstone, yeah, like you said, was preparing for one opponent. opponent got another one and got a what heck of an opponent at that well former legacy champion very Duke capable Dalton. very capable man in the ring right now dalton could pin you at any point in time period end of story he's one of those guys he's uh he's extremely talented in the ring knows where he's at at all times knows how to punish his opponent how to wear him down and how to get that one two three but this is not just your average oh, opponent. Not at all. And Hammerstone with that huge punch coming up off his feet. Look at and that. A big knee. The guy's so athletic. So big. It's got to be difficult for anybody. I mean, no one has ever defeated Alexander Hammerstone. No. That's, I, I can't understate that Whoa. enough. Oh, wow. But Big Duke <laughs> coming out of nowhere with that boot. It's going to be soft foods for Alexander Hammerstone for a couple days, I can tell you that. He's got to capitalize up off the second Ooh, rope, but he got nope. his knees up. So apparently that uh, big boot didn't, uh, didn't quite do what Duke thought. It was going to do. Oh! Well, he knew that suplex party was getting ready to get kicked yeah. off, but everything he could to get out of there. Another big boot high up into the face of Hammerstone. Well scouted by Dalton in this. I mean, he's, he knows Hammerstone. He knows what Hammerstone's capable of. He knows when he's going to do it, too. You know, it's not just about being big and bad. It's not just about being in the gym and lifting weights. It's about doing your homework and knowing your opponent. Watching your video, doing your training. You know the grappler. He's going to keep him tight on that. This double count out potential situation if both men are counted out alexander hammerstone That's... will leave with the pacific northwest championship but they're both back up to their feet Woo! right in the right in the stomach area that'll take the wind out of anybody well this is where we see oh, oh. no going over that neck breaker but hammerstone this... can he get him up i don't know he gets this up this could be a no. nice reversal comes around himself sends him into the ropes Dude, Boy, these guys know each other well Every time Hammerstone wants to get that German suplex, he's just doing anything he can to get the leverage. But oh, here oh. we go, here we go. Yeah, I've been on the receiving end of that one. I can tell you right now, that's that jars anybody. That's this could be it right here. Here we go. Hooks that far leg. Just Whoa. a two count. Wow. Are you sure that was a two? That was a two. Solid two right there. Don't give it to Dalton. He kicked out pretty quickly, man. That, that usually rattles me for at least I got a two and shake the cobwebs up. 
Well, Dalton, I think, chose to kick out. Now he's shaking off the cobwebs. Dangerous uh -oh. choice. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. He's got him set up for yeah, that stone breaker. I've seen, seen this plenty of times. Yeah, he was calling it out. No, was no, that a Dalton. Block? <laughs> Dalton blocked it in a oh. kick right to the face. Oh. Two times he's been kicked. His jaw's been knocked off by Big Duke. He's got this him might set be a up. third one. No, this is a knee. He's got the, he's got the pad he down. Does. There two, it is. One, Whoa. Five. two one five. Two one five. We got a new champ, ladies. Go! Oh, come on, no, the grappler. The grappler's up on the ring apron. He's got the referee right in his face. Come on! And I'll tell you, I'll give it to the grappler. He just he's brilliant. He knows how to save his guy. He knows when his guy's in trouble, what to do, when to do it. I mean, obviously, 80 years in the business. I 80, kid. 90, 90, give, whatever. Give or take 50. But, but uh, this is it right here. That's why. Right here. That's why his man stays on top. Hammerstone chasing after Duke Dalton. Grappler holding on to his throat. Looks like Duke Dalton had a good hold on the grappler. Uh oh. Right into that steel yeah. ring post. He hit head on. So that's, yeah, Ned, staying with that head. Oh, whoa, firing back. Got a couple. Boy, these two, these two are just, uh oh. I, they need someone, they, Dalton needs to get Hammerstone he, back in the ring in order to win this. You can't get the title on a count out. He needs to. I no, mean, I, this goes beyond the, the title. Grappler's even getting involved, yeah. Jeremy. This goes beyond. This, I, I, Dalton, yeah. yeah, and Hammerstone, this thing goes deep. Yeah, you can tell. Yeah, you can and the referee still, calls for the belt. I mean, they're, they're, throwing, they're throwing it all out. Caution to the wind. They don't care. It doesn't matter about the belt. You're right. It's, it's more personal than anything. Yeah, these two aren't going to stop. You might want to get management out here. Absolutely. Ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned. We'll be right back. Sports Radio 750 The Game is Portland's sports station. Isn't that amazing? Dan Patrick, live mornings. Uh oh Jim Rome, 9 to noon. The real eye-opener. John Canzano, noon to 3. I get pedicures. And Chad doing 3 to 7. Portland's sports station. 750 The Game. Look at this. Physique, effort, love. You can tell he's selling the donuts. All right, now give it a shot. Give it a shot. Give it a shot. No. Come on, action, action. Come on. No. No! No, give me that! Give me that! Look, try this! Oh my gosh! Show me, show me, show me, show me, show me, show me! Now simply watch this! Come on! It's easy! It's easy! Look at this! It's simple as No! 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 How is anybody gonna know that we're open 24 hours? How are they gonna know? Look at it! One, two, three! One, two, three! He's brilliant! Brilliant! He's it's amazing! You can't believe how amazing he is! Uh, uh, what? It's the Moon or Donut! The magic's in the hole! Yeah! Oh! What? What? Oh! Open right now! Don't miss the biggest event in WC history as the West Coast Wrestling Connection returns to where it all started, Salem, Oregon, for their 10th anniversary, Sunday, March 1st at Hawk Middle School. First bell is at 5 p.m. You'll see Matt Stryker, Trent Beretta, Gangrel, The Grapper and his Wrecking Crew, plus special guest Lisa Marie, formerly WWE Diva Victoria and TNA Knockout Terra. For tickets, call 971-600-8215 or go to tickets at wcwc.com. See you there. 